Hi guys, it's Colin Berry. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're know who I am, welcome back to my channel. For some reason, you guys just really like when I drag the fuck out of you. Like anytime I try to be nice, you guys are like, whatever. But as soon as I make a video snatching y'all by the wigs, y'all are here for it. So I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want. For today's video, I'm gonna be dragging the fuck out of your zodiac sign again. And I just want you to know, I love you. I gotta put that out there. I love you so much, but I am not holding back. So make sure to go grab your teacups, grab a book, because I'm about to give you a good read. So today I'm gonna switch up the order of the signs a little bit. We're gonna start off with Capricorn. I'm gonna need you to stop making shit so difficult for yourself. It's almost like you wanna have problems. It's almost like you wanna have heartbreak. It's almost like you want struggle. You can make things a lot easier for yourself if you just stop being so damn stubborn. You have so much damn pride that you refuse to allow somebody to come into your life to help you. you you can't do everything by yourself like you think you can. You would rather sit there and die than ask anybody for anything. People care about you, people love you, people wanna help you. Stop being so damn hard-headed. You don't just have to pretend that shit's not hurtful and keep it pushing because the thing is we all know that you're hurt. It's written all over your face and what I'm gonna need you to really stop doing is ghosting bitches. Stop pushing people out and stop pushing people away because you don't wanna face your shit. You can't just put your phone on airplane mode and run away from all your problems. Sometimes you need to address the shit before it piles up and puts you into a really bad place. Place. And stop raising your expectations so damn high of somebody before you even get to really know them Because then when they disappoint you you're quick to cut them off But since they never claim to be what you wanted them to be to begin with and then you wonder why you're so damn lonely You're always talking about how you want to be in a relationship But you don't want to deal with that relationship drama though because that's what comes with it as soon as things aren't going your way You're quick to jump ship because you got yourself and that's all that you need, huh? Hmm, I love that you're independent and you're hardworking I just hope in 10 years you don't look back and regretting your decisions You need to learn how to live in the moment because you only have one one life. It's good to make sacrifices, but don't sacrifice everything for a future that's not even guaranteed, because only today is promised. Now on to Aquarius. Get off your motherfucking ass and go do something. You know, you're some of the smartest fucking people in the world, but you act so damn dumb sometimes. You know how to think the thoughts and talk the talk, but you need to learn how to walk the fucking walk. There are too many brilliant ideas in your mind for you to just be letting sit there and doing nothing with them. If there's anything that you need to learn from your Capricorn friend that I just got done dragging, it's go out and make shit happen because ain't nobody gonna do it for you. And the thing is, you know that, you know that, but you still be sitting there because you don't think you're good enough and you don't think you're capable, but you fucking are. So why are we even having this conversation right now? Stop letting people underestimate you. Stop living in other people's shadow. Recognize your own greatness and recognize that you are enough. Stop looking for comfort and validation from other people around you. At some point, you're gonna have to learn how to find that for yourself and make your presence known. So now on to Pisces. Oh my God, where I even begin? I know y'all think I hate you, I don't, but y'all got some shit that y'all need to work on. You are not a chameleon. Stop trying to match the energies around you. If somebody is pissed, that does not mean that you need to get pissed or get crunk. And also, sometimes y'all be reading shit all the way wrong. You think that somebody is coming at you, but they're really not. You're tripping. I'm sorry to say, but you be tripping sometimes. Also, I'm gonna need y'all to stop being so damn nosy. Always up in somebody's business, sis. Up in the Kool-Aid, don't even know what flavor it is. You need to go back to the salty waters where you belong before you get your feelings hurt. You have a brain. Use it. Think about shit before you fucking do it because you obviously know it ain't gonna go well. You can't be mad at nobody else for your fucking actions. Y'all wanna be babied so damn bad. Y'all want everyone to do everything for you. Ain't nobody gonna just always be there to hold your hand down the path of life. Y'all are the type to not even wanna tie your damn shoes. Like for real, can you tie my shoes for me? I don't feel like bending down. And then they say, no, you got a damn attitude. Can you go grab me that, please? No, you can grab for your damn self. Also, you need to check who's giving you the information that you're learning, sis, because everything that everyone says isn't a fact. You be too damn trustworthy. You need to work on that because they are playing you out in these streets. You're the type to literally go to the grave for somebody that wouldn't go to the grave for you. I know he didn't do it. Strike me dead if he did. Then you want to get mad at the people who were trying to tell you that he was lying to your ass. Also, I don't know why y'all trying to always run away and escape your problems as if they're not going to be right there when you come back home. You can only try to party so damn long before reality clocks in. You're killing my vibe. How about you stop giving people enough power to kill your vibe to begin with? With. How about that? You can't blame everyone else for your attitude problem. And you be hurting yourself to try to prove a point to somebody else. I don't know why. Stop trying to be so damn rebellious. Always threatening to run away, packing your bags, listening to your emo playlist, thinking that somebody gonna chase you out the door, but they've been through this before. They know you're gonna come right the fuck back when you realize that nobody don't give a shit. So now on to Aries. Stop being so fucking quick to react to every damn thing. You need to really have a talk with yourself before you do the shit that you do. It's like you can't just sit the fuck still and let things be. You be fucking your own damn life up by making those quick 
irrational and impulsive ass decisions that you know are gonna get you in trouble. Nobody can tell you anything without you getting mad. Then you wonder why they don't wanna have conversation with you. Why don't you talk to me? Because nobody fucking wants to because they know that you're gonna have a problem. So what's the point? You always want a damn fight, but not everybody else does. And we already know that y'all are gonna get offended in the comments. We already know that y'all are gonna be ready to square up. But I just want you to know that I'm an Aries moon with the Gemini sun, so bring it the fuck on. It's either your way or no way, and fuck anybody who thinks different. Can you go one day without getting into an argument? Just stop being so damn difficult. Everything's not that fucking serious. I had to fight my whole life. Bitch, you're not Oprah Winfrey. So now on to Taurus. You guys know I'm always talking about how I love you, you're my babies, and I always wanna be there for you, but sometimes I fucking can't because y'all don't wanna be there for your damn selves. Like, I just be feeling so bad for y'all because you just continuously keep doing the same damn shit. Just a different fucking day, we're trying to tell you, bitch, that you need to stop. All your friends are trying to gather you up and tell you, sis, listen to our advice, please. You are hurting yourself. But y'all would rather learn the hard way because you're an earth sign and you're stubborn as fuck. Sorry I had to say it. Y'all get so mad when I say that, but you are. You really are. I'm one of those kind of people that I love to help people, but sometimes it just feels like you're wasting your breath. I could go on a three hour tangent explaining all the reasons that the relationship you're in is toxic, and you'll listen. You'll be like, oh shit, you're right, fuck. And you'll see the light. You know that you can't deny the facts in front of you, but you'll put on some sunglasses to try to. Bitch, what you need to put on is some damn contacts. Every toxic relationship you've ever been in, friendships, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, Whatever the case is, it always ends in flames and it's not repairable because the only way that you know how to leave a situation is when somebody pushes you to the point where you destroy them and then you never heal from that situation because it's not healable. The damage is fucking done. So do yourself a favor and leave before it gets to that point. And I'll tell you that and you'll be like, damn, I should. But you still won't. Also, you can't lie to save your life, so stop even fucking trying, because you'll hurt my feelings even more. Oh my gosh, I just made this fresh batch of cookies for you. Would you like to try some? Yeah, I'll try some. Do you like it? Yeah. Lying ass bitch. And we know you lying. So you better fucking stop. You better stop. Bitch, stop. So now on to Gemini. You know I love you. You know you're my squad. You know I gotta represent. But today, I don't claim y'all. Y'all really fucking think that you can do anything, huh? Like I know that you're good at doing multiple things, bitch. But you ain't good at every damn thing, okay? There's some things that you need to hang up, bitch. <laughs> don't quit your day job. You guys are just so damn self-righteous. You think that you're the chosen one. You're a genius, you're Picasso, can't nobody do it like you do it. But let me tell you something, bitch, as long as Beyonce exists, you fucked. Also, you need to stop throwing fucking shade, unnecessary shade. The person wouldn't even be there to defend themselves, but you feel like you need to say some shit that you know you won't say to the damn face. Cause you wanna be friends with everybody. But you know you have a pecking list of who really you fuck with and who really you don't. Also, y'all bitches be switching like light switches. Y'all need to stop. Are you on or are you off, bitch? You better decide. Are you team Edward or team Jacob, sis? Are you a blood sucking vampire snake ass bitch? Are you a ravenous wolf ass will eat your ass ass bitch? You gonna have to decide which one you are. You can't be a sheep and a wolf at the same damn time. Also, I don't know how many of y'all go to church, but don't ever go with the Gemini because y'all ready to go. Church service is over and they're talking with everybody for like a good two hours and you're fucking waiting in the car. Like, can you get the fuck out, please? Somebody's granny. Can I get an amen? Somebody in the comments tell me who's Gemini granny I'm talking about. That's gonna be me as a grandfather though, I ain't even gonna lie. Also, why do we always have to be talking about the deepest shit for you to be happy, for you to be satisfied? Why do we have to have a conversation where we're questioning everything in the world? Not everything is a conspiracy theory. I think you're reading a little too much into things. You're your own fucking worst enemy in your damn head. You can never be alone because if you sit alone for too damn long, you start wondering if you're even a fucking human being or if you're a simulation. Low key though, I think we're a simulation, but you know what, that's besides the point. Also, I know I said this in my last video, but I'm gonna say it again because it's the truth. Shut the fuck up. You talk too damn much. Oh, my baby's crying, let me get him. With me. But what great timing, because now we're on to cancers, the real crybabies of the Zodiac. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Actually, I did. Isn't that kind of the point of this video? But you still clicked it, you're still watching it, you knew what was coming, but your feelings are still hurt. And with that note, you need to stop putting yourselves in situations that you know are gonna leave you fucked up in the end. Do you guys like to be hurt? You knew that they were cheaters, you knew that they weren't sorry, but you didn't know how to let them go and forgave them anyway, and now they just hurt you again. How many times do you gotta get hurt before you learn? What is it going to take for you to stop trying to be 
be everybody's parent. They need to take care of their damn selves. They're too damn old for you to be coddling them. I'm also gonna need y'all to stop with that self-pity bullshit. Ain't nobody buying it. Stop doing onto others that you don't want done onto you because you're the first person to preach about how this is shitty as fuck for somebody to do, but then you be doing the same damn shit. And then when people confront you about it, you're like, huh, I'm the bad guy, aren't I? You're not Billie Eilish, bitch. And yes, actually you are in this situation. You want everyone and their mamas to be held accountable for the things they did to you, but you can't even hold yourself accountable. So now on to Leo. I'm sorry to tell you, but not everything is about you. Put your ego aside just for a damn minute. If your friend is telling you that you are hurting them, realize that you were hurting them and stop acting like they're weak because they're upset. I know you're a leader and you're super protective of your friends and you want to be loyal and you expect loyalty back, but loyalty does not mean kissing your ass and you're not the boss of anybody. Y'all are the type of people that are like, nobody can bully my friends except me. I know you mean well. I know you're trying to be playful. I know you like to be sarcastic with your friends, but listen, bitch, sometimes that shit be hurt. Hurting. Be a little more sensitive. You know who you are in your heart. You know that your love runs deep, but sometimes you need to show it a little better because your actions are not reflecting what you actually feel inside. So now on to Virgo. Last video, I barely even dragged y'all. I let y'all off with a warning. I was so sweet and nice. And I was like, oh my God, I love my Virgos. But now I'm about to drag the fuck out of y'all. Y'all always got something to say when nobody fucking asks for your opinion. Judgmental as fuck. Can you let people breathe? You better watch your step around a Virgo or they're gonna let you know how you're walking wrong. Has anyone ever taught you that some things are just better left unsaid? Y'all will say the meanest shit and then be like, what? I'm being honest. Oh, we're being honest now? Well, honestly, you're a fucking asshole sometimes. But y'all don't see how the things that you say upset other people. You think you're doing them a favor. You think you're helping them out. But no, you're actually fucking not. Everyone should aim to be the best version of themselves, 100%. But if you haven't learned, maybe you need to go watch an episode of my bitch, Hannah Montana. Cause like she said, nobody's perfect, including you. Loosen the fuck up. Stop being so tense all the time. Relax. It really isn't that deep. You mean well when you call yourself trying to help somebody, but you're only pissing them off in the process. If you gotta dig into the motherfucking deepest part of yourself, please do it if that means you can find just a little ounce of chill. The world is not ending if somebody decides to pour milk before cereal in the bowl. So now on to Libra. You wonder why nobody wants to talk to you? I'll tell you why. Because you try to refute and invalidate everything that somebody fucking says. You don't even believe the fucking argument that's coming out of your mouth, so why are you still talking? It's fucking annoying. You need to learn how to stick to one argument. You always got some way to defend yourself when somebody tries to come at you with something, but you're quick to tell somebody else that they're wrong. Since you wrong too, they will pull an argument out of their ass and try to stretch it the best they can to try to prove a point that they know they don't believe in. And you only make yourself look crazy in the process. Also Libras, I'm sorry to tell you, but sometimes y'all be fake woke as fuck because you be defending one thing, but the minute that it applies to somebody that you're close to, you always got an excuse. I'm gonna need you to keep the same energy you have with one person with the next. You can't pick and choose when somebody's in the wrong and when somebody's not. So now onto Scorpio. I'm not even about to sing your guys' theme song today because I'm gonna be petty, something that you guys are really good at doing. My only question for you is, aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of holding a grudge? Aren't you tired of trying to get back at bitches that do you wrong? Do you want peace in your life? When somebody fucks you over, it speaks more about their character than yours. But when you go out of your way to be grimy and to get back at them, you end up looking like the asshole in the end. Is there anything off limits for you? The minute that somebody does you dirty, you feel like you have to do them 10 times more dirty than they did you. If somebody just pushes you, you're gonna deck them in the face. You don't play fair, you play very, very dirty. And you can never win, sis when you play dirty. How you can win is rise above and be the bigger person. But y'all don't know how to do that sometimes. Also, people can't read your minds. You have to learn to be open and share and express your feelings. I know it's hard for y'all, but damn. Don't get mad at other people because they don't know that you're sad inside because you will never tell them. Nobody can force you to talk about your feelings. You don't even give anybody a chance to right their wrongs. You don't even give anybody a chance to explain where they might have been coming from in a situation. You automatically just assume that they had negative intentions and then they become this evil bitch. And now you automatically don't fuck with them, but you haven't even given them a chance to really show who they really are just because you don't trust somebody. Like you don't trust somebody to the point where you don't give people a chance. The minute that one little tiny thing seems suspicious to you, it's like, Mm. You're the type of person to break up with somebody because they're coming off as shady to you and then you end up finding out they're throwing a surprise party for you and now you look like Boo Boo the Fool. Now you feel guilty because you are making all them assumptions. 
you need to stop assuming shit. I know you're used to being hurt, so you don't want to give anybody the chance to hurt you again, but you'll only hurt yourself living like that. You can't have your walls up forever. Eventually, they have to come down because you're blocking your blessings. You're blocking beautiful things coming into your life because you're so scared of bad things coming into it. As calculated as you are, some things just cannot be controlled. So now on to the last zodiac sign, Sagittarius. Y'all fuckers are crazy, bad shit crazy like i literally can't go anywhere with you without some really fucking insane stuff happening and yes sometimes it's fun yes sometimes it's adventurous but i need a break from y'all sometimes because y'all will make me lose my mind you light up a room and it's so beautiful how fun you are and how energetic you are but the minute you get angry it is another story people really think sagittarius people are the most innocent sweet and positive people but no sis they literally are brutal as fuck. I don't think I've ever met people that talk more shit than Sagittarius people. Also, can you please just stop attracting psychopaths? Why the fuck are you going on a date with a soon-to-be serial killer? Because you see the potential in them and you can change them. No, sis, you really can't. When somebody shows you who you are, believe them. You guys invite bullshit into your life. Cause y'all bitches are reckless and crazy. The first people to put themselves in danger, the first people to skydive, literally in the horror movie, the ones who were like, let's go check it out. Like that's Sagittarius. It's like y'all wanna fuck shit up. Like y'all wanna fuck your legs up. Sit the fuck down. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button. And if you didn't enjoy it and you got offended, make sure to slap the like button anyway. And even though I know I dragged the fuck out of you, I love you so much. And I will see you super soon with a new video. <laughs> Bye.